So is the in-case AirPods Pro case with Woolenex any good? It feels cool, the texture on this product is actually top notch, so if you want a thin, non-rubbery feeling case for your AirPod or AirPods Pro, then get this product. And we'll buy reviews a Monty and I base all our reviews on actual usage. Now that Monty's finalized the uh, scoring system for AirPods Pro cases, well, it's kind of like watching your favorite sports league when we review these products. We definitely can tell you where it's going to rank. This product, number 16 out of 22. Boo! Now, Monty and I's scoring system takes into account everything. So certain things that this case doesn't do well at, like, you know, number of color options is all you care about is black or you know you don't want to be able to carry your airpods on a loop of some sort i factor all that stuff into it so this case if you eliminate those things that you don't care about will be very good the look of this apple exclusive product is awesome this is the only case in our collection that uses a fabric exterior rather than a fake leather or real leather or rubbery exterior. It's a simple looking case whose sole purpose is to prevent your giant white chiclet from getting scratched. The case comes in two colors, pink and black. Now in an effort to make the case sound fancier than it is, Apple's website says the case is crafted with refined, durable Woolenex, a lightweight fabric blended with excellent abrasion and weather resistance. And the shell is made from injection molded Bayer Macaron polycarbonate. Ooh, that sounds so fancy. Fancy, doesn't it? Now, Wollen X is basically a synthetic fabric made from polyester. It's very scratch resistant. Bear is the company, Mac Rowland is the brand of plastic that they have. And injection molding basically allows you to make, you know, very small plastic things by squirting molten uh, plastic into a mold. But does that matter at the end of the day? No. All I care about is can I use my AirPods well in this product? And I can. The bottom of the AirPod slides into the case quite easily and is kept in place by two rubbery sides so it doesn't move around from day to day usage. It also makes it very hard to pull out. The top cap also stays on, doesn't come off like other products that I've used as there's a sticky at the top. Now I've had mixed results with my in-case products, the laptop cover that I bought for my laptop laptop cover the years ago was terrible it did not fit but recently i just reviewed this in case ultra slim laptop case and this is awesome this is one of my go-to bags now when it comes to portability features the case has nothing <laughs> no loop no holes in the case for a potential loop which isn't a bad thing because i don't really like the loop but removing the ability to put a loop to it means that well you lose that option, which is one of the reasons why it scores a little lower. Now, remembering my biggest complaint with the mouse case, it pinches you. <laughs> it's the same with this case. The 90 degree angle cut out by the hinge area will give you a small finger nip if you're not careful. Is it annoying enough to forego the use of this case? I don't think so. I had no issues clicking my cap all day. There's a hole for the indicator light on the front and the sync button is accessed by pressing this leaf button on the back. I wonder what this fancy leaf button material is made from. This case fits and handles incredibly well. If you don't want something rubbery or leathery, this is your next best choice. Honestly, if you just need a case to stop the scratching and you're at the Apple store, this is just worth getting. So how does this do from a protection standpoint? The Bayer Macro Roll-In Shell should be very tough, right? That's what it says on the website. So that's all I got, questions, comments, leave them down there. I do have the other Native Union Apple exclusive case. Uh, I've tried putting it on and had a hell of a time trying to pull it off. So yeah, and it's like, it's way too stretchy for my own. Anyways, you're gonna have to watch the review for that. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe, producing content like a madman lately. This video is gonna be recorded and produced in the same day. Yeah, it's a stat holiday today and I'm here. So is Monty. Okay, that's it. Good boy. Scraggly, we're going to have to give you a haircut today somehow. For the, for the, for the shell, it's, Bayer is a company, macaroni, macarons. Oh. No, the furnace shouldn't turn on. And if the furnace turns on, I'm gonna lose my mind. This case, so how does it do from a protection standpoint? That shell is made from the bear.
<laughs> it just came out. The furnace just came on. It's like 19 degrees in the studio right now, and the furnace is set to 16. Stay wanted. See, even that tiny little tumble? This came out. Yay!